Hey guys, I'm Gavin. Welcome to our church experience at home. It's so cool that we can have church no matter where we are. And whether you're watching on your own with your family or with your parents, here's what today looks like. We're gonna have some awesome worship, and then we're gonna watch a fun message that will teach us something very cool from the Bible. And then you're actually gonna have time to think and talk about what you learned today. So let's get started. And let's get started with this question. What's been the best part of your week? What's up everyone? We're playing a game called What Happens Next, Cat Edition. Now this game is simple. You're gonna watch a bunch of cat videos because they're awesome. But in the middle of the video, the video will pause. And the cat is about to do something crazy. And you have to guess what you think will happen next. You do that by going to the left side of the room for the answer on the left, or the right side of the room for the answer on the right. You have 10 seconds to figure out what you think will happen next. What happens next? The cat on the floor starts an epic brawl, or a third cat jumps onto the cat on the couch. Wow, that brawl was epic! What happens next? The cat clings to the fan and flies across the room, or the cat epically fails not once, but twice. Whoa! Epic fail! What happens next? The cat opens up the top drawer, or the cat steals a piece of bacon and runs away. Uh, don't worry, the bacon is safe this time. What happens next? The cat spins into the soda and it spills everywhere. Or the cat gets so dizzy that it falls off the table. Wow, that cat must be super dizzy. What happens next? The cat gets attacked by another cat unexpectedly. Or the cat keeps doing this. You guessed it, the cat keeps doing this. Now. What happens next? The cat looks at the camera and sticks his tongue out. Or the lint roller sticks to cat as it runs away. Now. 
Whoa, that cat is fast. What happens next? The cat jumps and disappears into thin air, or the cat climbs on the window all the way to the top. Whoa, that cat just disappeared. What happens next? A second cat comes out of nowhere and makes this cat jump. Or the cat walks and falls right into the trash can. Bye bye cat. Wow, those cat videos were epic. Thanks for playing What Happens Next Cat Edition. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, what's up? It's Carissa and it is time to worship. Worship is a time where we get to dance, sing, and give God praise for all that he's done and for all that he is. And hey, did you guys know that there's more than just one way to worship God? One way we can worship God is by jumping and dancing and shouting and singing. But another way we can worship God is by slowing things down a bit and by thinking and praying about the words that we're singing. Another way to worship God is by simply just lifting our hands up like this. And when we lift our hands, we're telling God, God, I trust you and I give you everything. You can worship God not only at church, but at school, when you're hanging out with your friends and even at home. And that's what we're gonna do right now together. So I invite you guys to stand up, grab a buddy, and let's worship God together. Here we go.
CCB Kids, I'm Matt. Who's this handsome guy next to me? Well, you're so kind. I'm Gavin. That's Gavin. Gavin, what is our challenge today? Our challenge today is called, What's That Sound? Cat Edition. Meow! Just like that. Just like that, except all the sounds we're gonna be hearing may not be like that, right, Gavin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna listen to some audio files, and we have to guess is that a cat making that sound or not? So mm -hmm. Gavin and I will each lock in our answers, and then after we've done that, we're gonna see the thumbnail, the video file, where the sound comes from, and see if we were right or not. Yeah, see yeah. if it's a cat or not. That's right, and tally some, some points. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's go to our first sound right now. Our first sound. If it's a cat or not. Okay, let's listen in. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, wow. The first sound, <clears throat> I'm gonna say it's a cat because it sounds like a, a, a purring cat that's also s kind of sleeping, so it's snoring but also purring. So I'm gonna say it's a cat. All right, so I'm gonna say it's not a cat. It's a woodchuck, okay. just for fun, I don't know. Well, let's, let's find let's the find answer. Out. Let's see what is actually making this noise. Oh! oh it's a little pupper. It's a dog! I almost guessed a dog! And his tongue is out. Oh, He's cute. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Nope. That is a, I, it's not a cat. I think it's a child. Yeah, I want to say it's it's not a cat. I agree with you on that. I think yeah. it's it's some type of school recital, and they're doing some type of cat rendition musical. Okay, let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, yeah. No way. We were both it's a completely yeah. wrong. Bird. <laughs> well, we were right. It's not a cat. It's not a so cat. we don't. We just don't get bonus points for guessing what it was. Bird. That's that a was bird. So accurate. Meow meow. Next sound. Oh, 
Okay. What? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say yes, that's a cat. Just because at first it really doesn't sound like a cat. I'm gonna say no, but I honestly have no idea what it could be. What? Yeah! Wow. Oh my goodness. That that was a cat trying to be a dog. That's mind blowing. Okay, next sounds. Meow. Cute. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the sound is not from a cat, so no. I don't think it's, it's from, from a, a it's, human. It's not from a cat. Meow. Yes. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was disturbing. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a cat. I'm gonna say it's it's a dad dressed up as a cat that's at the front door that's just yelling in the screen. So <laughs> <laughs> next sound. All right. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, what? I'm gonna, oh, no. I'm gonna go for a dog. It sounds like a, a dog thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the same thing. Okay. We'll say dog. not a cat, we'll not say a cat, it's, a dog. it's a dog. And the answer is... <laughs> it's a cat! It's a cat! Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that cat man. needs prayer. What's this sound? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's not a cat, but it's a dog. I feel like dogs make those sounds. All right, I'm gonna say it's a cat. I'm gonna mix it up, okay? It's a cat. So I think it's a dog, you think it's a cat. Yeah. And the real answer, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, poor dog. Two more. All right. <laughs> I think it's a cat. I think it's a cat? I think it's, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna, I think it's a baby that's being tickled. And that's its laugh. Ooh. It's like, Let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> yes! Are we tied now? We're tied now, right? Tiebreaker. There we go. Tiebreaker, unless we both right. get it right. That's right. We'll see. Here's our next sound. Dude, man, that's, all right, I'll mix it up. I'll mix it up. It's not a cat. I was gonna it. go with that, but. <laughs> all right, for the sake of the game, I'm gonna say it is a cat. It's not a cat, it's not a cat. It is a small child. I, I, that's gotta be one of them, right? I keep guessing that. All right, let's see what we got. All right, I say it's a cat, you say it's not a cat. Oh, oh it's just a regular oh. cat. Oh. Gavin is the winner. Say what, meow? Say what, meow? All right, well, I lost that one, but good job, Gavin. Thank you. That was well played. Thank you. Man, a lot of those sounds were just really weird, really strange. We weren't sure what it was. Uh, right now in your groups, I want you guys to tell us about a time that maybe you heard a strange or weird noise, a sound. You weren't sure what it was. Tell us what happened.
Yeah. All of us have heard some crazy or weird noise that we weren't sure what it was. Gavin and I were just listening to some really weird and crazy cat noises. Uh, and our Bible character from our Bible story today, I'm sure he heard some uh, crazy cat noises as well from some, from some very uh, large and ferocious cats. So let's get our Bible breakdown with Gavin. Our story begins with Daniel a Jewish man devoted to the one true God, living in exile in the city of Babylon. He was far away from his actual home of Jerusalem, but he trusted that God was always with him no matter what. Each and every day, he remained faithful to God and did what was right. And God always had his back, especially in this story. So there was this king named King Darius, who was the ruler of the city of Babylon at the time. He actually really liked Daniel and was going to promote Daniel to be one of the rulers of his whole entire kingdom. That's pretty cool. But there was a group of people who did not like the idea of Daniel being a ruler of the entire kingdom. Maybe they just flat out didn't like Daniel or were really jealous of him. Whatever it was, they devised a plan to take him out. The king really liked Daniel, so these guys knew the only way to get rid of Daniel was to force him to break one of the king's laws. So they told the king that he should make a law that for 30 days, no one could pray to anyone unless it was to King Darius. Basically, for 30 days, everyone would have to worship the king, not God. Whoever didn't obey the law would be thrown into a den of lions and be eaten alive. That would be a horrible way to die, especially if you have cat allergies. But the king agreed and the law was created. These guys knew that Daniel was faithful to God and prayed to him every day and they wanted to use that against him. When Daniel heard that this law was made official, you're not gonna believe what he did. He went home and prayed to God. Even with this law, Daniel knew the right thing to do was pray to God, not the king. Well, the group of people that conjured up this plan saw Daniel praying to God, not the king, and he was disobeying the law. They were so excited because they caught him in the act. The king would have to get rid of him for disobeying the law. So they went and told the king about Daniel. And the king was so upset because he really liked Daniel and he didn't want to throw him into the lion's den. But because it was the law, he had to do it. So they got Daniel and threw him into the den with a bunch of hungry lions and they placed a huge rock in front of the entrance so that there was no chance for Daniel to survive. Well, the king went home and he couldn't sleep the whole night. He was anxious for Daniel and so worried. He didn't want him to die. So the next morning, the king rushed to the lion's den, knowing Daniel was an appetizer at this point. He knew Daniel couldn't survive a bunch of lions. So he went to the den and with a sad voice said, Daniel, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue from the lions somehow? Then Daniel responded, my God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king couldn't believe it. Daniel was alive. The king brought Daniel out and there were no wounds or scars or lion slobber anywhere. Daniel trusted God and God had his back and protected him from the lions. Well, the king realized at this point that these other guys made this whole plan with the law stuff to set Daniel up. And the king didn't like that too much, so he threw them into the lion's den instead. And well, you probably could guess what happened to them. This story is incredible. Daniel was so faithful and loyal to God. He trusted that God was with him no matter what. Even though he was thrown into a den of hungry lions, God still had his back. God has our back too. Hopefully we will never find ourselves in a den of lions, especially those of you who hate cats. But like Daniel, we can trust that God is with us. He is always with us. He protected Daniel from the lions. Imagine what he could do for you. No matter what happens at school, at home, or with your friends, Trust God and stand up for what's right. He will always be with you. God's got you. Wow, Gavin, that was awesome. 
Man, I know if I was in the lion's den, it would have really freaked me out. No, you can't leave. You can't leave yet. You can't. All right. Well, that's a great Bible breakdown. Now let's talk more about this in our groups. Come back, Kevin. All right. So right now, your groups talk more about how God is with you. Uh, have a great week. And remember, God's got you. Well, I hope you guys learned a ton from that message today. I know I sure did. And right now we're actually gonna make some time for you to think about and talk about what you just learned. So some questions will pop up on the screen for you guys to go through. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.